In this video, we're going to discuss the T cell mediated cytotoxicity. And this has to do with the CD8 plus, or the cytotoxic T lymphocytes, the CTLs. And in the last video, we talked about the, the T cell mediated uh, type 4 hypersensitivity, the delayed type uh, hypersensitivity, and that had to do with CD4. Plus, now we're going to talk about the T cell mediated cytotoxicity, which is the CD8 plus. And just as a review, if I have uh, this is all cells, so all cells in your body kind of have this this uh, major histability complex type one. This is in all cells of your body. And in the previous case, in the last video, we talked about the delayed type hypersensitivity. And that had to deal with uh, major histability complex type 2. So the major histability complex type 2 has to correspond with the CD4+. The major histability complex type 1 corresponds to the CD8+. Plus. So the C, the, the C, this is kind of like a picture that, will, will, that kind of describes the process. And I got this picture from Robin's Basic Pathology, 8th edition. And what happens here is these are CD8+. Plus and they have a mo they have a molecule that kind of sticks out like this and will bind to this portion here this molecule is called the CD8 protein or or molecule that kind of sticks off of this T cell so that's why it's a plus because it has the CD8 molecule where the CD4 has just the CD4 molecule that's in place of the CD8 molecule on the CD4 plus T cells. So the CD8 8, the CD8 plus uh, T cell what happens is that on all cells of your body it will communicate with only this major histability complex type 1. And so what happens in this case is it's pretty simple that you know this let's say this uh well let me make it orange here to make the colors match up but let's say there's an antigen of some sort and what happens normally is the antigen is a virus some kind of part of a virus or some kind of tumor marker and so these CD8 plus or these cytotoxic T lymphocytes, they play a critical role in resistance to virus infections and some tumors. And because they are on all cells of your body, these CD8 plus uh, T cells will constantly be checking out all the cells. And if there's some kind of virus or some kind of tumor part here, I'm talking, I'm talking, let's, I'm going to talk normal here. This is the normal pattern, and then we're going to talk about the how it goes wrong. But this will kind of come up through the membrane, and it will kind of sit right here on this major histability. So this is major histability complex type 1. And once it sits up here, these cytotoxic T cells, they recognize this to be foreign not self and then they what they do is they turn into this killer cell they personally will kill this cell so let me make this blue here they will kill this cell kill they personally will kill this cell how they do that is they through the porphyrin and granzyme system and what that does is this porphyrin, let's make this porphyrin yellow. What the porphyrin do, does is these cytotoxic T cells, 
then what they'll do is they'll make a little kind of hole through these porphyrin molecules that will make like a hole inside kind of like complement but they'll make hole and then these granuzymes will go inside the cell let's do this in this color these granuzymes will go inside the cells and what they'll do is they'll activate cellular caspases and they'll activate these molecules and what these molecules do is they trigger the apoptosis to happen which is programmed cell death and remember from the first videos that we that I made we talked about how apoptosis is non-inflammatory there's no inflammation this is a programmed organized cell death. And so these CD8 plus cells, they kill each individual cell that presents this molecule here that is abnormal, not self. And so that what results is tissue injury and cell death through the process that I just described. That's kind of a normal process. However, in this hypersensitivity disease or this T-cell mediated cyto, cy, cytolysis or this T-cell mediated cytotoxicity, this part two of the type four hypersensitivity diseases, is the CD8 cells, they just kill these cells because of this antigen that is triggered. And we're gonna talk about in the case of organ transplant and some different things and autoimmune diseases, why that actually actually occurs. We're not sure exactly, in most cases, why it, it occurs. We just know that it's these cells, these CD8 plus cells, that are killing these individual cells. And here are some examples. We have a type 1 diabetes. And what happens is that the antigens of the pancreat, the pancreat islet beta cells, they somehow these get targeted for killing and so the pancreas undergoes apoptosis and you get uh, chronic inflammation of the islet cells, you get destruction of these beta cells and ultimately you have diabetes. In multiple sclerosis you have the protein antigens in the CNS myelin that are triggered these proteins in this CNS myelin, they become antigens and trigger this immune response. So you get demyelination in the central nervous system with perivascular inflammation, which results in paralysis and ocular lesions. Like, you know, Robbins or Kumar, the author of Robbins Basic Pathology, suggests that it's an unknown antigen. But we know that it's in the syn joint synovium. And some speculate it's type 2 collagen. Others say some kind of antibody but you get chronic arthritis with inflammation and destruction of articular cartilage and the bones. And in the case of peripheral neuropathy and Guillain-Barre syndrome, it's these uh, uh, nerve myelin of the peripheral nerve myelin, these prote proteins, they become antigens, and you get neuritis and inflammation of the nerve, and you get some paralysis. And we kind of talked about this a little bit last time but you have inflammatory bowel disease which is Crohn's disease it's some unknown antigen maybe be derived from the microbes that live inside our gut but you get chronic inflammation of the ileum and colon and you get those granulomas that we talked about and you have fibrosis and a stricture the last one is also uh, actually this, these two last ones are examples of the the first type, the delayed type hypersensitivity, and you get contact dermatitis, you know, you get poison ivy or poison oak, and what happens is that you get CD4 cells going up there and uh, wreaking havoc on the epidermis, and that causes pus. You know, these little pustules, you get inf inflammation of the dermis with itching. It's usually short-lived, but it may be chronic with persistent exposure to poison ivy or poison oak or anything, any environmental chemicals that cause der contact dermatitis. So hopefully we understand that the type 2, the T-cell 
involving the CD8 Plus T cell. It's more basic, more simple than the the one that we talked about earlier, which is the delayed type hypersensitivity, the DTH with the CD4 Plus T cells. And that's it for the hypersensitivities diseases. And then the next video, we'll talk about autoimmune diseases and we'll go into some uh, transplant rejection stuff. We'll see you in the next video.